We're a robotics company and our first product is to fight COVID and we're building a disinfection robot to be used in the hospitals, warehouses, uh, hotels, everywhere where there are people uh, going to visit places so that you can have a disinfected place and uh, not worry about uh, COVID. The idea came from the moment when we realized how important the disinfection service is. Even before COVID, it was estimated that more than 100,000 people died only in European Union due to hospital-acquired infections. At the same time, we didn't have a very good solutions to fight that. So basically how the robot works, it's, it uses UVC lamp and plus UVC radiation. When the UVC passes through the DNA of our body or any organism or virus, it breaks the protein structure. So that organism or uh, microorganism, bacteria, virus, anything, it, it's not alive anymore without its DNA. So that's how we kill all the virus and, and bacteria in the environment. So we started working on the first alpha version of the prototype in August 2020. But it was basically a robot with uh, two lamps and wheels which we were controlling manually. And we tested that in November in the labs and it could disinfect a room, a hospital room in less than 15 minutes. But then we started working on the main uh, proper robot with autonomous navigation, AI, and uh, more lamps. We started working on that in November, 2020, and we finished it in March, 2021. In just uh, four months, we had significant improvement in the robot. Now it can disinfect a room and even kill COVID in less than two minutes. We are a very young company, so we are observing our uh, competitors and their experience. And this helps us to create much better and much smarter products than they have. So for example, we are able to leverage the price of the product, which is right now four to five times uh, lower than our competition price. This is a very intense time for us right now. We are starting a seed round and we are also deploying and testing our first pilot products with uh, potential clients. And among these potential clients are uh, national hospitals and uh, companies for private sector.